Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are checking out some Bare Minerals. I actually got a whole bunch of little Bare Minerals minis that I've just sort of been accumulating from Sephora because, you know, they do those little offer things where it's like if you spend $25, you can get a deluxe sample of something. And then I actually used my Sephora points to get this. Basically, like a full face of Bare Minerals Beauty is what I have here. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive straight in. First, we're gonna start with a little mini Bare Minerals foundation. This is their liquid mineral foundation ooh, with broad spectrum SPF 20. Now what I think is really cool is like, so that's the back just has information about the sunscreen, but then you can like, boop, pop that open. Whoa, more information. And it shows you all the shades. Light as air liquid foundation with a boosted mineral formula, blurs imperfections and leaves skin looking naturally airbrushed, reduces the look of pores and redness over time. Medium buildable coverage made with just 19 clean ingredients. So yeah, clean is a big theme amongst all the bare mineral stuff. So I'm very interested to see how they package this foundation. I have the shade Fairly Light 03. Sounds about right. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, I love tiny things. They're so fun because they're like normal things, but like smaller. So I'm guessing this is just kind of an open bottled situ- oh, nope, nope. It's got, oh, like a little spatula. I'm gonna just somehow put this on the back of my hand like I normally do. Or I guess I could just use the spatula. Well, I'm already putting it on my hand. I could probably just use the spatula to put it on my face, but I'm already doing it on my hand, so it's fine. Ooh, looks a little yellow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Suddenly I'm scared. Let's just do it. Okay, I'm pretty much out of product on the back of my hand, so now I'm just gonna put it on my face, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we'll go, <laughs> go from there. The shade's not actually that bad of a match for me, so I pretty much am done with my foundation on this side. Still missing it kind of in this area on this side. So the undertone of it's not quite right for me, but the shade, it's like, it's close enough, you know? It's working fine. It's pretty minimal as far as coverage goes. So I'm gonna see how it builds, of course. First impressions, I think it's quite nice. I'm happy enough with the shade. Ugh, I got it on my collar though. My biggest trouble with it was just applying it. I wasn't crazy about the spatula situation, but that's a very, very minor detail. It looks really, really good on my skin everywhere except for over my nose. I don't know if y'all can see that right there but I have not been able to kind of get that to blend out right. It could just be that my, the skin on my nose is like having a moment or something. That's not an uncommon issue for me. And like I said, it looks really, really good everywhere else. Nice little sort of very light texture. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it though. Okay, so obviously when I started, I had already done my eyes and part of this little Sephora Beauty Insider kit was this Bare Minerals Fully Grown Lashes Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. Oop. So it has a really interesting applicator. You can see it in the picture right there. I used it on my lower lashes, which was really hard because the applicator is so short and the applicator is kind of this weird, like goes flat and then that happens, and then it's got that little tiny divot on the bottom. So anyways, it was kind of hard to use. I don't use mascara a lot on my top lashes, mostly because I'm just usually wearing 
false lashes and my normal lashes are so puny that like trying to use mascara on them is pointless. So anyways, the mascara was kind of whatever, but it was fine. And I thought I should let y'all know that it was also in there. So there we go. <laughs> now though, let's check out their Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. Pretty excited to try this. This is my very first, by the way, very first experience with Bare Minerals ever. I've never tried any Bare Minerals products, but I do know that that's like kind of their thing is the powder, right? So let's see what it says about it here. Clean without compromising performance. So again, they want you to know that it is a clean makeup. Oh, this is so tiny. I do like it though that like the packaging's not like extra cheap or anything just because it's like a sample size anyways free of visible pores and imperfections light as air finishing powder sets makeup absorbs oil and blurs the look of pores for a soft focus finish with no flashback in photos so here's what it looks like in here how do you what is this arrow i'm confused ah <laughs> it's fine <laughs> no big deal i got it open gonna put a little bit in the cap I guess Ooh, it's like a pretty pinchy pinchy <laughs> it's a pretty pinchy color it just says original but it's like a nice little kind of peach color this is gonna be a little trickety So the powder's fine. I'm not like particularly impressed by it for any reason. It just is kind of powder. It's interesting though, like, you know, this part of my face like feels powdered and smoothed out, but it still looks kind of shiny. So I guess the mineral veil, it doesn't have any kind of like luminescent, luminous properties to it or anything like that, but I guess it kind of helps maintain the finish of the foundation. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the bronzer though. Look at this tiny bronzer. And look at my giant bronzer brush. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make be able to make this work. Looks like this is the shade Warmth. Endless Summer Bronzer. That's really all that it says about it. Let's just, uh, let's just, yeah. Just go for it. Okay. It's not like particularly messy or anything. Doesn't seem like a whole lot's getting on the brush, which is, I'm not mad about. I actually kind of like that in a bronzer, so. Oh, but it's pretty pigmented. That's pretty nice, actually. So bronzer, no bronzer. Bronzer, no bronzer. Cool. Okay, fun. I like the bronzer. I'm very happy with that. Okay, now here's the challenging part because I have two blushes and they seem like they're pretty different blushes. So the one that came in the Sephora insider thing, this is their Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade Call My Blush. That's cute. We love a good pun. So it says, natural looking flush of buildable color, blurring mineral based pearls, flatters all skin tones. Okay, we love, a, we love a universal skin tone moment. It looks kind of just like a normal matte blush to me. Let's check out the other blush though. I don't remember how or where this one came from, but it's also like a mini situation. This is their bounce and blur blush. And this shade is called Mauve Sunrise. Full of bouncy, blendable color, free of harsh lines. Let's bounce. Fingertip friendly, bounce powder. Okay, looks like I already swatched this one. <laughs> I do remember that now. I have pulled this out and looked at it before. You can see where I swatched it. This one looks sparkly. Let me go ahead and like swatch them. Maybe we'll just use them both. That looks really cute. That's the bounce and blur blush. And then there's the Gen Nude blush. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with 
this one and then I'm gonna go back over with some of this one. I don't have any of my typical blush brushes today, so hopefully this formula will just work with me on this, you know? Oh my goodness, how cute is that? I don't know how well this would work for other skin tones though. It seems pretty light. Although it is applying, and I mean, I've barely used any of it. So I guess if, if you have deeper skin, you could probably build it a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cute. I would go in and build it up a little bit more, but I do want to try this one too. I'm nervous about this one because it's definitely more pigmented. Oh man, I might've gotten too much product on there. And then just very super lightly. Ooh, yeah, this one is pigmented. Oh my gosh, look at that, like just line of blush that I made right there. Okay, I'm gonna put some over here now. Oh! Oh! Okay, dust some of it off so that I can blend this. I think if I had my normal blush brushes, then this would be a lot easier for me. I'm just not used to using this brush for blush. These are both really nice though when they're blending out. That's pretty cute. I kind of like that. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna try and take a little bit more just to kind of even it out. I'm like, again, being just so super, I'm like barely touching my face with it. So yeah, the bounce and blur one, definitely not for the faint of heart, but oh my gosh, I love it. I think it's just so nice. I think if I had my normal blush brush, then this, I think I would like it that much more. And then the Gen Nude one is definitely just a really good standard, typical, classic type of blush formula. This is a stunning, fantastic shade. And I did find them both to be quite pigmented. So even though this pink one's pretty light toned, you could probably build it up and get a good saturation of color out of it if you've got like a deeper skin tone or something. Cool, so the cheek products are a definite win. Give me a moment to do my eyebrows and my hair and then we'll come back and I've got a couple of lip products for us to check out. Let's try, let's check out this lipstick first. So this is the Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. It also whoop, opens up, I love that. Oh wow, this one comes in a lot of shades. You see that? Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick, lip color and treatment in one, made with minimal ingredients for maximum impact. Cold pressed sea buckthorn fruit oil. Woo, say that 10 times fast. Adds moisture for smooth looking lips, mineral pigments boosted with olive extract provide rich color in one swipe. Let's check out the lacquer. So this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer. This one also opens up to give you more info. Ooh, is that the shade? That's really pretty. Good for skin nudes made for every skin tone. High shine, full coverage liquid lipstick. Good for skin mineral ingredients, ultra comfortable, non-drying. Now, y'all know I'm really more of like a dry down matte liquid lipstick kind of a girl. Both of these sound like non-drying Oh, that smells really good. Creamy formulas. But let's swatch them and try them on nonetheless. Cool. So there's the lacquer. That's the, the shade Pout. And this is the shade Honesty. Cute. Hmm. Very different colors. I'm going to try the lacquer on first because I think I like the shade of the lipstick better, actually. quite nice actually. Definitely not my like go-to type of lipstick, but this lacquer, it's kind of thick and sticky, but not sticky in like a bad way. Sticky in a way that it like stays together pretty well. So applying it was very easy because it didn't like get away from you or like run outside of the applicator or anything like that. Feels really, really nice on the lips. It's a little bit sticky, like in the way that you go, like that, but it's not too bad. I'd be interested to see how this like settles down into the lips and like wears, but I do want to try this lipstick. So we're gonna, I guess, take it off. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> I really didn't think I would like it, but I do. <laughs> All right, let's try 
Miss Lipstick now. I think I'm gonna like this one. Ooh, that's really cute. I think I like the shade of the lacquer better actually. So I'm kind of wishing I had ended on the lacquer, but that's okay. This is really nice and really comfortable. I'm quite impressed by both of these formulas just because with like creamier lip products like these, I'm always a little wary because they can just be kind of messy, sometimes difficult to apply, and I don't love that, you know? The formula on both of these is really, really nice, very application friendly. I found them both very easy to apply. Even the little lipstick, I don't love bullet lipsticks because I do find them a little more challenging to apply, but this one went on super nicely. This color is gorgeous. It's very comfortable. Feels really nice, very light on the lips. Honestly, as far as like the foundation and the powder goes, not my most favorite. So number one, you get a lot of product in this little thing. Like I did my whole face and neck, but I still have quite a bit of product in here. So I'm definitely gonna try the foundation again maybe with a different powder. I just feel like it look really like shiny. I'm just a little concerned that it's not going to, you know, do a very good job of like containing the oils that my skin produces through the day. But I think it's mostly the powder, which is surprising. I didn't really like this powder. I didn't really dislike it either, but my favorite setting powder is the Ciate London Loose Setting Powder, and I do not like this one more than that one. It's kind of my standard for loose setting powders. The Ciate one, it's just very, very soft, very finely milled, and it sets the face so well without being overbearing. This one, like the face still feels set. I just feel like I look shiny for some reason. So anyways, I'm not crazy about the powder, Foundations and maybe we're gonna have to mess around with that one a little bit more But the blushes and bronzers I think are the really big win of the day. I am loving these cheek products I think they look stunning the mascara was whatever and then these two lip products were actually really nice So I'll be interested to see how the color holds up. I'm not expecting that they'll be very long wearing It didn't say for either of them that they're very long wearing so, you know, there you go. But definitely a win for the cheek products, which is perfect because this is cheek week. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. If you're following along, if you're not, or if you want to or whatever, I will link other videos from Vlogmas as well as other, or as well as the playlist for Vlogmas. Let me know what you think about Bare Minerals. What products do you have from Bare Minerals? What have you tried from Bare Minerals? Do you want to try Bare Minerals? What do you think about Bare Minerals? Just let me know all of the things. Sound off in the comments. Always love hearing from you guys. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, okay? Okay, bye.